Today we're going to show you how to install our standard carbon fiber trim tabs on any airplane. This is our trim tab presentation. It comes in the bag and I want to show you everything that comes with it. First, we have the actual carbon fiber trim tab and there's a warning here that's very important. Okay. It says, flutter warning, balance your moving surfaces after installing trim tabs. That means your aileron and your elevator should be balanced. Okay, so the carbon fiber trim tab has a counterweight, this one, because it also needs to be balanced. Okay. Uh, you can see it better on this one. Don't, don't, doesn't have a servo attached to it. Okay, we have a balance here. Very important. So it should be fairly balanced uh, when when as there is a servo disconnection. Okay, so going back to the thin tab, the servo comes attached with a zip tie. We put the zip tie. Okay. And then we have the servo separate from the trim tab. Now, which will stick or rivet this servo to the carbon fiber. For that, we have provided in the back all the material you need. So this is 3M BHB tape, which is very strong. It will last forever and it makes very strong adhesives. So, there's the servo. You can see here on the table. Okay. You can actually detach the servo from the trim tab. Okay. You have the servo inside, the shell and the push rod. We can leave the push rod attached to it. Okay, this is the sticker. It goes like this. After we stick it here, we can remove the ex excessive material with a, a sharp knife. Okay, and the cable will come out through here. We can peel it here and stick it to the carbon fiber trim tab and the end result will be different. So you see the servo is already ad adhered to the carbon fiber trim tab and it works really good. Okay. After the servo is adhered to the carbon fiber trim tab, okay, it works really nicely. Okay. Some people will want to rivet it. I would say adhering it to the trim tab is enough with the double sided tape. Okay, now we take the, the rest of the 3M tape and we want to adhere it first to the carbon fiber trim tab. Okay, again, we cut the excessive tape. Okay, and we we stick it together with this one that coincides with the cable hole. So you have to find out the correct the correct orientation. So it'll be like this. Okay. After we stick this one, then we can stick this part too. And after they're both there, it will look like this. Okay. We can just peel it and stick it under the aileron elevator like this one is. You see? This is a complete servo system. It's all it's all got tape. The tape has been trimmed so you don't see it. And it's a very strong bond that will last a long time. Okay, rigging the cable.
we have the complete set here with the double sided tape adhered to it. Now we have the cable. So what do we do with this cable? Well, we can either drill a hole through the aileron and then we can rig the cable like this before we stick it. Or if you don't want to drill a hole in the aileron or your elevator, we can just cut small groove here from the from the tape you have to be more patient than me okay and then the cable will be completely flush So now we can stick, we can peel this here again, stick it down there and the cable will come out on one side. Then we can rig it through the airplane to the extension. Okay, that's another way to do it. Okay, we have different ways to at attach the three tabs to our flying surface, okay? We have the normal way, which is peel and stick, just peel. Like I said before, just peel it here and stick it. Run the cable through the aileron or to one side. Then we have this other way, which is remote mount. We'll talk about this in a little bit. We put the servo here. The reason we put the servo here is that it helps balancing the flying surface. So this, you see this surface has to be balanced shouldn't drop like this, it has to be completely balanced. So normally people would put weight on the leading edge of the aileron or elevator, okay? But if you don't want to put so much weight, it's better to bring the servo from here to the uh, front or leading edge of the aileron. And then we have a push rod, and I'll show you how to install this push rod. Okay, another way of doing it, would be to have the servo flush inside the aileron so that you don't see it. Okay, it's similar to this. Ignore for, for the moment, ignore the little turbine here, but the servo will be inside. Okay, and you see how it moves. And this particular trim tab, if you bring it, if you bring it closer, please. This particular trim tab is riveted to the trailing edge of the aileron or elevator. And that makes it very, very, very light. So the amount of weight you're gonna put here is very small. So it's up to you how you install it these different ways, okay? And uh, we provide the double-sided 3M tape and we provide, you can buy or we can provide you with longer push rods. This is a Dubro uh, 2-50. This is a Dubro 2-56 times 12 push rod. So the push rod would be installed here, okay? And we have to make a a C type bend on the on the tip of the of the push rod. <laughs> if we want to install the servo remotely, we need a longer push rod like this one. Okay, so that we can do the remote servo installation. So we put the servo here, we can stick it with double sided tape or rivet it. And then we measure the distance, more or less where you want the Z-band to be, okay? And either use some pliers to the Z-band, or you can use a little machine like this one. It's easier. This machine is available in Amazon or from Dubro.
Okay, finally, we have different types of servos. We have this uh, little, very light, it's only about three ounces, servo that we usually put here in the carbon fiber trim tab. And that's the one that you see in our trim tab that's adhered to the trailing edge of the aileron. That's the same one. Okay, this servo is, uh, is protected from rain with this shell, but the servo itself is not waterproof. We have this other model, okay? It's a bigger servo, it's a lot heavier, but this one is waterproof. It's the one we have we installed here. And uh, because it's heavier, if we install it, in front of the hinge or uh, forward, forward of the hinge. Doesn't matter if it's heavy because we're gonna put weight here anyways. It would be better to use a servo like this. Or use a waterproof servo and install it inside flush with your flying surface. You have to make a cut here and install the servo.